Hi guys, so I'm finally back with another video and this time I'm doing a highly requested video which is shopping in Walmart. It was difficult for me to put this together so I just hope that it works out for you guys. So when you shop in Walmart you need a dollar coin and need to carry it with you at all times while using a trolley as that's the only way in Canada where you can use a trolley. You need to insert a dollar and uh, only then you can use those big trolleys for shopping and again you need to put the trolleys back at the end of the shopping to be able to take the dollar out. As you can see over here here I went to the grocery place first and there are a lot of varieties of apples please zoom in for the different prices then there are pears there's a lot of organic apples next we come to tomatoes and cucumbers there's a lot of tomatoes over here the tomato Roma bulk is the one which is the cheapest and um, you can pick your own tomatoes there there are also the other ones which are clustered and uh, they are, it comes in packets and they are the best tomatoes. Now we come to potatoes. I'm only showing the most important ones which are needed and are the ones which we shop for as well. There are a lot of varieties of potatoes. There is sweet potato as well which is rare in Bangladesh. Now we're coming to onions and there is red, yellow and a lot of different types of onions as well. Now this section is the part where there is always discounted products and this week it had yogurts 3 for $10. This section always consists of the discounted things and it changes week to week. Sometimes there are juices, sometimes there are milk, sometimes there is just different thing every week. Halal meat can also be found in Walmart in case you are too busy or you don't have a halal store nearby your place then you can even buy your chicken or beef from Walmart and I tried to zoom in a little for the prices over here so chicken wings would cost about $10.67 and a filet chicken breast would cost about $14 and chicken thighs would cost about $11. All of this is uh, pretty expensive uh, compared to whole chickens which we get from Zach convenience store. Now we come to the tuna section. We make a lot of pasta and as we are both busy and working we try to make easy food to survive during the week as we don't have much time. So. Um, Tuna is something which we always have and I think if you are a student as well and you want to make uh, easy, simple easy food, this would be a good option. Next we come to the Asian section. This is the most important section if you are a South Asian like me and of course you need your spices and they have everything by the way. They have parlay biscuits, they have turmeric powder, they have cardamom. Prior to Canada, I never really cooked, so it's actually a blessing for me to have everything ready for me, like all the masalas are here, there's butter chicken masala, chana masala, there's shan, we all use shan, I don't know anyone who doesn't use shan and there's pretty much everything, and um, there is haldi ram, and now we come to the rices, there are different types of rice, there's basmati rice, and there's just uh, normal plain rice as well. Next we come to the important part of our life which is toiletries. You do need tissue paper over here. For the shampoos they have uh, discounts all the time and again the shampoos last for a good 4-5 months as well. We bought one in August and ours still didn't finish yet. This section also consists of travel sized bottles in case you wanted to have something smaller or you were traveling so there are shampoos, there is body deodorants. There are hand lotions, there is hand sanitizers, pretty much everything you can find over here. Wet wipes and everything is reasonably priced from toothpastes to toothbrushes to hair oils. And I zoomed in for the hand lotion for you guys since again like I mentioned that Canada is a dry country so you do need your hand lotion sorted out as your skin tends to get dry easily. So guys, that was all about my video. I tried to 
zoom around all the essentials which we shop for when we go to Walmart. If there are any other sections you wanted me to cover like let's say clothing section or electronics which we skipped since we only went to shop for grocery and the important items in Walmart I'd be happy to do so just uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely help you out we also uh, shop for two weeks so once we go to Walmart since it's very time consuming as we use public transport and both of our working so we shop for every two weeks and usually when we shop it's about a little over a hundred dollars and uh, so that's around 200 to 220 per month for groceries we however get meat and rice from Zach convenience store so that's around another 60 to 70 dollars uh, in that store so we spend about 300 ish in food and it saves up a lot when you're cooking at home and you're not eating out as much someone asked me way before how we uh, go back home so we take uber after visiting walmart because it's difficult to take so many things in your hand and use the public transport again so we use uber and we go back home with uber after that which takes an additional of 10 to 12 dollars each trip so that was all about my video i hope you liked my video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel it's super cold today it's minus 10 degrees but there have been worse days so as you can see i'm all layered up and uh, that's canadian winter for you guys so if you would like to see more videos let me know what content should i do and don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already till next time bye